Hello guys, welcome back. In this Laravel video tutorial, we are gonna learn how we can use the routing in the Laravel. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, I just uh, open the Laravel welcome.blade.php and this is to, if you are very new and the very beginner then you will find it. This is the first page which is uh, provided by the Laravel as code example. So this it will uh, placed in the resource folder and the welcome.blade.php. So here if you want to make any kind of change you can make here. Let's see. All right. So now uh, for the routing you have to open the uh, routing folder and here for the web routing you have to go with the web.php and if you are guys making the API then you will probably go with the API.php so basically we are going with the web.php because now we are working with the web all right so you can basically you can see that this is the basic routing and here you can see that this is open the welcome page and if I write something else so it will give you the error all right so now uh, okay so now uh, first of all there is a lots of uh, request this is a get kind of request the route means the routing and this is a scope resolution method and it will we can uh, call it the uh, static method which is called directly by the scope resolution and it it, it doesn't need the instance all right so get means this is basically get request and here you can access with the nothing in the route and you will access the uh, view okay, so if I'm going to write here uh, like first then you will see uh, it will going to it will uh, will give you the error and if I'm going to write here first then it will going to load so here you can provide the your uh, we, we can see that the parameter or the route here whatever you want to pass here all right so let's say I am going to make one more URL with the same page first of all so I am not going to make uh, uh, any more pages so that you cannot be get confused with that uh, alright and in the next video we will make the pages and uh, we will make the uh, a new controller and all these things so let's say I just put here welcome and now it will open on the both places uh, if I'm going to delete it it will you can find here and if I will put the welcome then you can access the same page with the welcome also so now just this is the second page so I'm going to comment it also so let's make a comment it also so the new way is you can directly put the view here so that you can directly access it the view and you can remove this code you don't need to this code and just you can put the simply file uh, name so my view file name is this one oops so what's wrong with that let me check mm -mm -mm -mm. yes we have to remove the welcome from here because we just path provide the uh, root path here without any string all right so let's uh, done some more things with it and if you provide here post let's say uh, just remove this first of all and copy this if I'm going to put here you can see that we can we are able to access this page with the get request because with the browser it basically the get to get if, if I'm going to uh, put here post then you are not able to see that why because this is accessible only on the put request and if you will give you the put request by the form then you can access it so if I'm going to put here any then it will accept any kind of request it can be accept the put post delete get patch options whatever all right and uh, okay so now we can learn that how we can use the parameters here so let's say um, I want to pass some parameter with the URL so I just put here let's make it get again so that we can go with the basics okay 
so after that let's say you provide the id here so how i can this get this id in the view so for that you can normally put here pass your id like dollar id and you can access this variable like this mm, let's say welcome id and you can directly put dollar id here so if i'm going to put here welcome with a 10 then oops let's check first the wrong with that so if we put the id here all right so we didn't put here id like this you can put like this simply you can get this id with that one so if i put here like 100 then it will give you the 100 return all right so you can change the parameter also like i uh, you can put the id to num or whatever you want you will get it all right with the same thing you can get the string also all right so after that we just miss the one thing which is uh, i think redirection routing so all right so just uh, we can remove this also so if i'm going to uh, use the routing then i can use the same thing with that just uh, we need to change the uh, function name is redirect okay and in the redirect we will use the two parameter one is from here we want to redirect so let's say from the welcome i want to simply redirect with the uh, we can see that uh, come okay and you can provide the uh, parameter for what kind of redirection is here all right so just make it comment and all right so just start it with the welcome and you can see that it will go to the come why come is not working because we don't have any route with the come then if you have any route with the come then it will work you can see that so let's try again welcome it will with the come and uh, come will uh, loading this url so this is a basics about the url routing so there's a lots of thing i think uh, just visit visit the uh, laravel official site for once laravel routing you will find find the many more things that you can use then i'll tell you that uh, we use the this uh, with the id this url and these are the methods that we can use but uh, we are not have the form that's why we can use only get request with the match you can check the get and post we check the any and view router we used here and you can we pass the parameters with the use and there are the options that we want to put that uh, you want to put that or not and named routing and all the new some new things are also here if you want to check that like the middleware how we can use a middleware and subdomains and prefix and all these things so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you have any kind of query you can ask me on the comment box on my facebook page also the link is given in the description box and don't forget to subscribe our channel in the next video we'll learn how we can use the controller in the laravel so bye bye for now